unless you're capable of doing a certain amount of what I think of as diplomacy, which basically means managing networks of relationships, building the right kinds of alliances, shaping the external environment, I think you're going to have a really rough go uh, as an enterprise leader. Embrace politics with a small p and get over any you know, squeamishness or sense that it's not legitimate because it's a part of the way the world works. And if you're not prepared to embrace it to a degree while maintaining your values, then I think you're going to really struggle as an enterprise leader. I don't think there's any way of avoiding it fundamentally, right? The world, when you start dealing at the level of the external environment of businesses, is inherently a, a political place. Likewise, frankly, the diplomacy that's required at the senior executive levels. You know, I, I teach MBAs sometimes, as you know, and it, it comes as a big shock to them that politics becomes more intense as you go up through organizations. I mean, many of them believe that somehow, you know, crystalline rationality will observe and will sort of emerge at the top of organizations. And that's just not true, right? Because you've got people with very strong egos that are trying to get things done. The agendas are not as clear. The, you know, there's more ambiguity. There's not necessarily right answers. And so politics is an inherent part of how things get done. And if you're not prepared to play the game, you're not going to succeed. As you move to those top positions, you now are the person that's got to be out there at least shaping you know, the approach that the organization is going to use to dealing with government, to dealing with the media. And typically, by the way, also you're going to be working with people in functions that you may not have a whole lot of previous experience with, right? So suddenly the communication staff, the legal staff, right? The government relations staff, the analyst relations staff, all of a sudden those corporate functions become a core part of what you need to create, shape, and lead to leverage yourself in doing this. So absolutely that focus on the external environment becomes, uh, becomes more intense and that's really at the core of the shift that needs to happen. Your orientation more externally, your orientation more to understanding the complex political you know, relationships that are happening and really learning to shape those as opposed to react to them. I, I view diplomacy as a technology, right? There's a set of ideas and approaches, you know, to building alliances, for example, right? I'm going to build an alliance with you first, and I'm going to use that alliance to then accomplish another goal and build another one. There's technique here, right? Influence technique, you know, alliance building technique. But like any technology, right, it's the underpinning uses that it's put to that are crucial. And in business, those are really, you know, defined at the senior leadership levels by two things, right? The values that the leaders bring to the table and the governance structures in which they operate. And if you have weaknesses in either of those things, you're gonna to start to see the problems that, that we've seen emerge. And those, those problems typically emerge because you have leaders who are pr pursuing their own agendas for the wrong reasons, right? For example, pursuing major acquisitions because it's gonna put a cap on their careers, whether it really makes sense or not, right? Or you see problems with governance, right? Not enough independence on the part of boards to kind of constrain and, and make the right balance happen. But you can't avoid politics and you want to be good at it, right? But you want to be doing it in the ways that serve the right purposes.